y'all it's hope from crafty hope here and welcome to another thrifty thursday from me if you've seen some of my thrifty thursdays you know that i consider anything that's at a reduced price or by a thrift store estate sale yard sale all of that is a thrifty haul because i'm getting things at a price that is lower than you would normally play pay that includes places like the Dollar Tree that have unique things. I'm going to zoom this out Ooh, just a little. Okay, and show you what I got. You can see some of it over here, but we're not going to start with that. So yesterday I was in the one of the largest cities closest to me. I live between Mobile, Alabama and Pensacola, Florida. So, and I'm from Mobile, so I go there a lot more. I don't know Pensacola quite as well. But anyway, I was over there doing something with my family and before I headed home, I stopped at a, a local thrift store that I hadn't been to. It's kind of a chain around here, but I hadn't been to that specific one. So I thought I'd go in and they had, they have like color codes on the stickers and everything that was red stickered was reduced to 99 cents. So I got a couple red sticker things. Now I picked up two of these. I have not opened them. I've cut the I've cut the tape they had on them, but these are puzzles, and I didn't think I got a Paw Patrol. I thought both of the ones I got were Disney, but it doesn't really matter. So, these are boxed puzzles here. Um, I think I may have to put them, oh, this does have numbers on it, so maybe that says one and five. One, I don't know, I may have to put these together and see um, if all the pieces, because I'll bag them up and re-donate them but I wanted the box itself I think would be great for some assemblage I think and then I might even be able to have glass slip into the thing that goes like this thing it does if I can find glass that's the same size and I can slip it in there like that and secure it somehow so I thought that was kind of a great idea again reduced to 99 cents. I got another one. This one is Disney. And they both say two, but this looks like, I don't know. I'm going to put them together. So this one, oh, see, and I didn't even realize it. This one is only divided in one place. And this looks like, let me see, it's Minnie Mouse. Let me see if there's, anyway, it doesn't really matter. I see Daisy. So maybe it's Minnie and Daisy. I don't know. <coughs> I was, Excuse me. Um, there, I didn't think I got one that was broken. It doesn't really matter, but I was thinking I could even use these for something else. So maybe if I cut that down, I could still use it. Um, but again, 99 cents, it's not a huge deal. But I'm kind of excited that I got one that has four sections and one that has two sections. I didn't even realize that. So win, win. All right, so besides that, I was looking, because I didn't want to just spend $2 there. I looked around and dug through some stuff and found this Rolodex set. It is 50 cards, and it's just one a cheap little set here. Let me see if we can even get it open. Not sure. It looks like maybe it has been opened before. Maybe. Oof, it's one of those that you might have to cut open. There we go. So, yeah. It's just a cheap little Rolodex set, but I know everybody's been altering Rolodexes, and y'all have to admit, I have a big, like, flip open top Rolodex one, but for 99 cents, I figured, you know, I might even can send Rolodex cards, so if you, <laughs> if you have been looking for Rolodex cards and haven't been able to find any, let me know, because I can send you some. <laughs> But I, you know, it was one of those things that I didn't think anybody would appreciate it besides us crafters. So, got that. That was all I got. So, $3 basically. From there, since I was in Mobile, they've got two Hobby Lobbies over there. And I hadn't been to them to check out their clearances. So, I went and as soon as I walked in the door, they had a display at the front. And at the front, they had these gold chains. They're a little odd because they've got these interesting clasps on the end. I'm not real sure how they work. Um, I'll have to play with that some, but they'll probably come off. I really just bought it for this gold chain. I'm trying to see if I can get it close enough that you can see it. Okay, so I got three of those because they were only 74 cents each. Um, and they've got extender chains on them as well, which is kind of nice. Okay, so that was the first thing I went. And then I ran through, I didn't see anything much in the scrapbooking section. But they had all the jewelry stuff 
basically moved out of the jewelry section and put on a wall, which was so convenient. All the jewelry clearance stuff anyway. Super convenient. And they had that with the fine art stuff. So what all did I get? Sorry, I'm trying to... I did get these two fine line resist pens that are, you know, those fine liner bottles. If you've seen, I've used here. Um, oh, if I can get it down. I've got a black and a white one that I've created just buying the bottle itself. And then it has these super fine tips on them. But this is a resist. So it's uh, like masking fluid, I think. Um, oh, y'all, if I can get that back in there. Hold on. Okay. Um, and they were marked from $5 to $1.25, and I had a bunch of them. So I went ahead and got two of them to try out. So let's see. Yeah, it's masking fluid. So that's awesome. I, yeah, I'm really excited about playing with those. And let's see, then I said one of the first things I saw was that they had the 19 strand bead long bead stringing wire marked down from $10 to $250. So I got the two things they had of that. They also had a bunch of different artistic wire. Um, they were all larger gauge, like this like 16 gauge, but most of them were like colored wire. But this is bare copper that was marked 174. Yeah, so I got that. It is only three me 10 feet. So, but 16 gauge um, bare copper wire, I went for it. And then I dug around. There were all kinds of things. Let me see. I got two of these stamping strips. There are 12 pieces in them, and I got them each for 99 cents. So they're just like aluminum. It says rhodium. So I guess rhodium. Um, stamping strips. Oh, I did. I wasn't sure if I got one of these or not. So it's seven pieces of what looks like antique brass. They're oval stamping blanks for 99 cents. Um, let's see, I got a, for 99 cents, these are some tiny star beads in silver and gold. I'm tickled with those. How cute are they? Um, I got another thing of the silver plated eye pens for $1.87. So again, a good deal. I got some of those at another Hobby Lobby the other day. There were some round jump rings. These are the antique brass, 99 cents for that. And then the last thing I saw... I went ahead and grabbed all that they had are these, um, they call them ballpoint head pens, but the ball end head pens. Again, 99 cents. And they only had three. I grabbed all three of them because I like ball end head pens. So that's all I've gotten so far. Um, there could be some actual thrifting in my future. There, I've got, I've got three estate sales open on my desktop right now that are kind of in the area um actually two of them are just kind of almost up the street i'm sure my husband when he gets back from picking up lunch is going to tell me he saw the sign because <laughs> i know he'll pass one of them so i may yeah i may do that this afternoon i don't know maybe tomorrow i'm trying not to buy too much i bought so much last week you can see that video I'll put a link here and yeah so i need to start making with this stuff all right guys that is everything for now so I've picked up a couple more things. I had run some errands, decided to run into the library because I was right there and they have a free bookshelf there. And I don't really need more books. I always say that, but I got them. So first thing I saw was a dictionary. I do love me a good dictionary. And this is just like a 1988 dictionary, but I can't go wrong with another dictionary in my stash. Um, what else did I grab? I got two older looking books let's see yeah this one you can see i don't know if you can see it's got some like it's an indentation so it's not embossed raised um it's madam sarah and um it's okay it's what did i think it was like 1966 it's got some neat um pictures here so it's sarah bernhardt i'm not sure if i know who that is and i think that's who this is about but it's got some really neat pictures in here so um and the and the paper is nice so that could be cool this one is real life stories it's got some illustrations it looks like oh wait this comes off um that is neat okay um looks like somebody tried to sell it at some point maybe um what year is this um 
1929. Um, and it's got some illustrations in here. Oh, that was one. They're hard. To, as soon as I see them, they're gone. Um, there. So there's like things like this in them. Um, yeah. Anyway, I was gonna try to there. There's that. I saw some back here. You know, looks like, almost like lino cuts. Um, so that, and then there were two. Um, what are they? From the Smithsonian Institute, there were a few more of these blue ones. There was also silver, porcelain, and jewelry, I believe. And believe it or not, I didn't like any of those. <laughs> so I left them, even the jewelry one. And that's mostly because the pages are slick in here. So if I use them, it's going to be the images that I want. So the clocks I like, especially like, I mean, look at this inner page here. Um, that would be so fun to cut out some of these. And so the back is like that too. And then there's just like neat clocks in here. So yeah, I thought that could be fun to at least use for, uh, there's a glare on there, for some of the images. Look at that. Wow. Okay. And the other one is Toys and Games, I think is what it was. Yeah, Toys and Games. And so it is also kind of neat. It's got this um, on the front and back. Weird little images. Um, but then there's like, you know, dollhouses. These little, what are these? Like the little banks. I don't know if you have ever seen those. But I think they like wind up or move or something. And there's, you know. Let me see. Oh, and I liked this because it had like could cut these out so lots of little neat things in this one there are dolls in here it's somewhere like here's some dolls yeah look how funky she is um anyway so that I grabbed all that at the library on the free shelf so that may be everything now I picked up a couple things at the Dollar Tree today so I thought I'd pop on and show you what I got real quick sorry for the shaky um, before I put it all away so I went up there looking for a couple very specific things um, I had three things on my list I found two of them what that's good the other one uh, is something for my husband and I'll just have to go to a couple Dollar Trees and see if I can find it but the main thing I was looking for was some reindeer moss. This is a little bit different than some of the other stuff I had. And that's cool. I just want it to glue onto a project I'm about to work on. Hopefully, hopefully it worked and you'll have seen that project. If so, I'll put a link up here so you can see that project. So I got that. That was the main thing I was looking for. I also took, oh, when I walked in, they have like clearance items and they had these Fiera Rochers, y'all marked two packages for a dollar. So <laughs> I can't turn down the candy. I always have to have a stash just when I like have to have some chocolate. So it's my chocolate stash. Um, on the school aisle, I've picked up one of these in a blue before. And I think when I saw it, there was only... And I can't even find that blue one now. I'm kind of upset because <laughs> I don't know where I put it. I was looking for it yesterday. Oh, wait. There it is now. Um, yeah. I wasn't sure what the top looked like. But I happened to pick this one up looking to see what the top looked like. And it's pink. And I kind of want to know how hot pink. Because I kind of want to have... I don't know. I keep thinking about getting a hot pink uh, colored pencil. But, um, oh, that looks really hot pink. Let's see. Well, it's not as hot pink as I would like. But, okay, so I got that. That is a micro tip brush pen that they have in the ink brand. And so now I have a blue one and a pink one. And hopefully I can remember what they look like. In the, like, frame aisle, I saw the back of this and immediately saw a shadow box for some of my art. The front is... This love keeps us together. I will probably pop this off and maybe paint over the back of it and then take the hook thing here and move it to the side and use this as a shadow box. So, 
yeah <laughs> um what else did I get okay so I picked up I just I can't help it I like black and white fabrics for different things I this would be super cute I think rust dyed so I'm going to you know rust dye it tear it into strips all kinds of stuff and also I've never seen this before cut cutting dies so for your dye machine I um I, there's no telling this may or may not work I don't even know yeah if yeah it like the thinlets I think for like an embossing cutting machine so I'll try it there were two there was this one and then there was a long one that had like tulips on it so that was kind of neat I picked this one up because I thought I would get more use out of it than the tulips and then at the checkout aisle they had a sticker book <laughs> and I've got a couple of these already but this one has got a bunch of rainbows and butterfly wings in it there's one this one I really don't like I like peace signs but why does it look like a pumpkin y'all I, do, I don't need a pumpkin peace sign <laughs> but there's a bunch of these rainbows and because one of my prompts for my prompt project this week is rainbow I thought maybe I could use stickers so I grabbed those and I think that's what I'm going to use the reindeer moss for too so again you may have a link to that so that's it from the Dollar Tree Y'all, what is more thrifty than something for free? I like to call myself a pickup artist because I love picking up things in parking lots or in the woods or wherever and then using those things to create with later. So I'm always on the lookout for stuff on the ground. My husband has become accustomed to it. But the other day I was going through a parking lot and had a several finds I thought I'd share with you. So for one, first thing I found was this, some kind of... 4-H show ribbon um, that yeah was just in a parking lot the same parking lot there was also this piece of rusty wire that's all twisted about here that I can totally see doing something with there's a beautiful rusty washer um, this side has like I don't know if it's paint or something else but anyway and then an, uh, an old lock that's rusted completely up here is unusable but yeah still could be good for art so it's a couple of little things I found in parking lots I will be back soon with more I'm back I did some actual thrifting and hit a couple of thrift stores first was the habitat free store so let's see um pull my receipt out oh that's not the habitat store <laughs> That is the Habitat store and I pulled that receipt out. So they have a 25 cent bin there. Everything in it is 25 cents. So I kind of went through it real quick. I found this little length of brass chain. I'm not sure how I would use it, um, but I just kind of wanted it. I thought it might be neat to hang it something in an assemblage of some kind. I also got in that bin this number two. <laughs> just liked the... Um, I don't know the texture of it and everything and again assemblage um, as I browsed around they had a small table of like craft stuff which is new for them and I found a couple of beady things they had other things like crimp beads and some um like twist clasp and things like that I ended up just getting these two sets of clear beads there's the larger ones and some smaller ones and I know these are from Walmart but they were only 50 cents a container so I got them because you know can't really go wrong with some clear seed beads and then there was also this ribbon y'all I don't even know it is just a gold mesh ribbon I thought it was kind of cool it was only 50 cents for whatever's left on here um, let's see if I can get it tighter. It is wired as well, so that's kind of great. But, I mean, if I don't want to use it in crafting, I can always throw it in with my, like, Christmas wrapping stuff and use it there. But I thought, you know, between the texture and that color, that bright gold, it could be super fun. And the last thing I grabbed was this, um, it's a faucet handle. Um, it was a dollar. I just thought it was neat. I like that daisy shape of it. And again, it could be really neat in some kind of assemblage, maybe with something here in the middle. Can you see it? So there was that. Um, then where did I go? I went to a place called the Waterfront Rescue Mission, which um, does like feeding the homeless. And the first thing I found and ended up getting was a bag of washi tape, y'all. I don't actually need any more washi tape, but it was only 99 cents. And yeah, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I couldn't help myself. 
Um, so there's this floral black and white. There's this like elongated dog. Like how cute is that? This one, I think it is, yeah, it's just a paper tape. So it may be like a med, it's not paper. It's a cloth tape. So it may be like a medical tape or something, but it's a cloth tape. So it could be neat for um, like book binding maybe. An orange polka dot. This has red flowers on it. This is like a hot pink filigree, I don't know. Um, this looks just like that. So that may be from like a Christmas set. It's the same thing here. And this, I have one like this, but it's red and like a turquoise. Um, but this is the red and green. So 99 cents, washi tape, you know, grabbed it. I'm gonna appreciate more than maybe somebody else would. And the big thing I got there, hold on, let me see if I can get it. Um, was this. Y'all, can you see that? I may have to take a picture and show y'all at the end. But it is an old clock. Um, but it's in a wood, like, frame. Um, the back, so it's just stapled in here. So I can pull that out. I'll have both of these panels to do something else with. But then this frame... To work with for an assemblage piece and it was only five bucks so um yeah i got it it's kind of what i was looking for i was looking for like clock frames and stuff like that because i just saw some art from betty sar i'm not trying to pronounce it who is an assemblage artist from a long time she's still around but i saw a peek into her studio and she had a lot of old clocks with like the faces and stuff taken out that she could use for her assemblage and i thought "Ooh, i need to go look for that <laughs> so the last place i stopped was america well it's not the last i did go to an estate sale it was the last place i stopped and i i didn't find anything i absolutely had i almost bought a thing of wire but it was it's not wire I really wanted to use, so I didn't get it. Um, I may regret that. I may end up going back there tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so at America's Thrift, I bought things there before. And um, it's the one that I showed y'all before that had the baggies of things. So yeah, I got more baggies. Um, this first one is was only 99 cents. And y'all, it is just a bunch of those tiny, like, salt and pepper shakers. Not salt and pepper. Um, so it's like five of them. And I just think they're neat. I can, I don't know. I might, oh, there's some pepper in here too. Awesome! Um, but you know, I could glue them together or whatever. Um, so I got those. I thought, you know, they were kind of neat for assemblage or maybe a necklace or something. Um, one of the other bags I got was this one, and I was really excited. It's only four dollars, three ninety nine. So it's four dollars, and I'm not completely sure everything that's in here, but it had some neat things. And when I saw one of the things, I was like, "Yeah, I'm paying four dollars for that." But first off, there are these three things. They are metal. Um, I don't know what they are, y'all. There's this green one and these two like brass colored ones. This is the back. Um, I love the texture of them. I think they would be fabulous to frame something up in an assemblage somehow, but I don't know what they're actually intended for. Um, yeah. Are they lids to something? Or this one's got a little stick on rhinestone stuff too. <laughs> so I don't know what those are. Um, then there's some kind of framed something. Um, yeah, somebody's family, I think. Um, just a little frame. I'll probably re-donate that. But this... When I saw, I saw the little sticker that says works. Y'all, this is one of those little wind-up travel clocks. Um, and I've got several of those, y'all. But, actually, no, it's not ticking. But I think I can take it apart and get some of the gears and stuff out of it if I want it. So it's a matter of playing with it. But, yeah, it's just, it's a wind-up clock. So then, you know, if I take this apart, I've got the clock face and the housing and this little case and all of that. So... Between these things here, I thought, you know, that's a dollar a piece. That was kind of worth it. All right, what else did I get? Oh, um, we'll go through the last bag for last. Um, I also found this for $2. Um, it's some kind of, it says itty bitty blocks. Um, so it is, it's a little block set in here. We're going to go ahead and open this because I think, yeah, 
two dollars um, this part slides into the plexiglass covering so that in itself that's a box for assemblage hello but then it's got all these great blocks in it y'all that I can either use for something else or have as blocks I mean how fun is this I'm yeah I'm pretty happy with that two dollars two dollars um, of course I can't get it back together now okay there so that was a good buy I got a uh, just a pan like a it's not really a, I don't know if it's a baking pan or something from somewhere else but I've seen Ricky Ticky Tavi uses pans like this to sort some of her stuff and I got it. it was three dollars probably more than I needed to pay but yeah but see I can put all this stuff in it <laughs> look at me organizing it all um, so I can get my pictures for y'all so anyway I like that little thing and the last thing all right is another one of these mix bags is four dollars and it had a few things in it that I was like oh my gosh oh that's so cute so I had to get it so we're gonna open it real quick and go through it if I can get it open all right maybe I should have left that little <laughs> pan out all right so first off there is a is it a pencil it's a pencil sharpener oh my gosh y'all it's a steamship um that is a pencil sharpener i'm trying to see like some of these things move so i don't know but these wheels on it so it can move this way but it's it's a pencil sharpener i am tickled that is so novel okay that's really neat um then there's a tiny i guess maybe these go with it see tiny oh is it glass I don't know if that's glass or not um a little vase it's got a little couple little flowers here cute oh, there's a tiny basket like a little shopping basket oh my gosh that was one of the things that made me go yes i want that um there's a um i don't know like a marie antoinette type figurine i don't know that could be neat um let's see there's a pig with a pie um yeah interesting this i wanted to see what it is y'all i think it's a little salt and pepper shaker it says japan on the bottom there's a cork that looks like it's gotten pushed up in there but how cute is that always little gnome like figurine there is a what is this it's a tennessee uh pepper shaker so it's got a cover on it um yeah Try that twist off so more another salt and pepper shaker <laughs> maybe that was my theme today and that's neat i i think i prefer it with the lid off but we'll see we'll see we'll see um there's a a fish um this is all plastic except for the fish is wood so i don't know that some of these things may get redonated i'm trying to pull out the things i don't like first um there's a little lighthouse figurine um that might get redonated. We'll see. There's a boot. Uh, maybe it's a shot glass boot or something. It's just a like ceramic boot. And it says Oz Ozark. Ozarks, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Okay, then what's in here that really tickled me are, well, let me see. Hold on. There's a little bucket. Um, yeah. How stinking cute is that um oh here's a farmer pig i wonder if he goes i think those go together are they they're not salt and pepper or something no they're just yeah a little pig set this y'all look it's a little candlestick i don't know if it's it seems bigger than dollhouse size but it's so stinking cute you could put a birthday candle in it or whatever and then there's a whole little set here of copper pots and pans i mean pots look at these are they not super cute and i bet they stack and everything oh y'all look how cute are those i'm super stoked so that was a little bag it was um what i say four dollars so that was my haul today that is probably everything for this week i think that is plenty enough to share with y'all i've got to go get pictures of all of this Y'all let me know if you have any questions or suggestions about one of the, some of these things might be. Look at this. I'm going to put sharpen my pen. 
so oh my gosh okay i'm tickled um if if you like this please give me a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and i will see y'all very soon thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it bye